Hi, I'm Joy, and this is my channel, Yoga with Joy. So welcome. Okay, so this is a practice uh, that's really gentle. It's for anyone who's maybe new to yoga or, or just needs a slightly more gentle practice. It is about half an hour long, and I take you through some really nice postures and exercises, so I hope you enjoy them. Now in this practice I do recommend blocks and blankets and different props at different times. So if you happen to have a strap, if you happen to have um, blocks or books you can use or rolled up blanket or cushions, just have them handy because you might find that you don't need them at all, but the options there. So yeah, apart from that, I just hope you enjoy it. <laughs> so see you in a moment. O oh, radiant sun, pure consciousness, flaming orb of truth and bliss, remove the veil so I can see, illuminate my heart, awaken me. We'll start in a comfortable seated position, so that might be cross-legged or kneeling, and you may wish to use a block or a cushion or a rolled up blanket to sit on. Find stillness now. So taking a moment to really drop into being here on the mat. And start to deepen the breath. So as you inhale, feeling a lengthening from the base of the spine, right from your sit bones, right up through your lower spine, which is your lumbar, your middle spine, which is your thoracic, and into the cervical spine, which is your neck. And feeling a gentle lifting from the crown of the head, softening the shoulders as you exhale, softening the back of the neck, all the way around the brow, so between your eyes, Invite a softness in here. Your jaw can relax. Really calming down and slowing down. Let's begin together with our three OM vibrations. Chanting the mantra, breathing in. Gently opening your eyes. We'll start by freeing up the neck and shoulders. So take three movements of the neck of the head where you look over, exhale over to one side, inhale forward, and exhale over to the other side, going as slowly as you need to. If you find you would like a more dynamic practice, you can move bit quicker so being careful with the neck because this is an area that often builds up some tension lovely that's good so feeling as you do this still that lengthening through the base and the heart and the head feeling this alignment of those areas. Okay, so we'll move the left ear over to the left shoulder, keeping the shoulder nice and relaxed. Just gently holding it here. Softening. And bring the head back up 
and then over to the other side, softening the shoulders. Feeling the stretch in your neck, making sure it's not too intense and bring your head back up. Lovely. Let's take three head rolls. So this is stretching out your neck, creating some flexibility. Looking down, exhale, and inhale up, and then over like a rainbow. So being careful of the back of the neck. Exhaling down, inhaling up. Making sure we've been careful of the back of the neck, as we said before, exhale down. And one more time. You can go as slow as you need to, so you don't have to go at my speed. And then the other direction. Being super gentle. Taking note of any areas of tension. Inviting that area to relax. Breathing into those areas that build up tension. The breath will help the area relax. Wonderful, looking down and then bring up your head, fantastic. We'll take some shoulder rolls. First one way. Great. And then the other way. Again, moving at your own pace. Wonderful. And relaxing down. That's great. Good. Okay. So we'll bring the hands behind and place the feet down, the knees up. And gently rock from side to side. Stretching out your hips, sides of your legs. Bring your knees back to stillness. We'll come back into seated. Now if you're cross-legged, you can try the other way around. So try having, for me, it will be my left in front because I naturally put my right in front. So we'll come into the twist. So inhale, lengthening, softening the shoulders. And exhale, moving into the twist. Inhale and exhale. Wonderful. So as you inhale, there's a gentle lengthening right from the base of the spine through the twist in your thoracic spine and then up through the crown of the head. If you need to have a block behind, you can place a block here, which helps you sit up a little bit further. In fact, I'll, in fact, I'll grab that. Take a breath in and exhale back to center. Wonderful, good. Okay, so inhale, lengthening. Exhale over to the other side. Have your block handy. And softening with every exhale. You can move a bit more into the twist, it feels comfortable. And lengthening as you inhale. Exhale, back to centre. Fantastic, that's great. Okay. So we're going to bring ourselves forward into the cat position, releasing the blanket, or you can also place the blanket underneath your knees if you wish. Having your knees hip width apart and your hands shoulder width apart. Underneath your shoulders and knees underneath your hips. And we'll start by free flowing. So really move any way that your body feels comfortable moving. 
so that you're stretching out the areas. I really f they feel like they need some attention. And also moving with the pace that you are today. So some days you'll be feeling more dynamic and other days you'll be wanting to go at a more gentle, slow pace. Some days it might be your hips that really feel like they need a bit of a stretch, a bit of movement. Sometimes it might be your shoulders or certain areas of your spine. Lovely, that's great. And then we'll start to move into the cat flexions and extensions, Madhyarasana. So inhaling up, shoulders away from the ears, and then exhale down, looking between your legs, your knees, lifting up your belly. And then inhale up, exhale. Breath in, inhaling up, exhale. So the belly's lifting with the exhale when you're looking between your knees, you're lifting up your pelvic floor and your abdominal muscles. Pelvic floor for women is the vaginal canal and for men is the perineum area. So right at the base of the body, the trunk. Inhale up and then exhale. We're going to just take ourselves back for a moment. Rock, um, come back onto your the toes so you can turn your toes round. And then we'll just dance out the wrists. So you can take a bit of a, a bit of weight there in cat. So flexing and extending your wrists, pointing, flexing. Lovely, and a little dance, figure, figure of eight. That's great. And then stretching forward, turning the toes round, and then bringing yourself back into a half downward dog. So you've got bent knees. And your chest is being encouraging, is being invited back down towards your feet. But if you need to, you might be coming a little bit further forward like this. And then lift up into an acute dog. So lifting up on tiptoes. And exhale down, one heel at a time, walking out your downward dog. That's lovely. Take a breath in and then exhale, lower the knees down. Inhale, upward cat. And exhale back into child. Now with child, if you find it's uncomfortable, you can place the blanket underneath behind your knees. Sometimes that, that can, re if the knees are quite tight, that can re relieve a little bit, create a bit of space. Take off the pressure. Stretching out your hands and child. And then we can gently walk the hands over to the left, which stretches out the right hand side. Wonderful. Breathe into that side. Deep, slow breaths. So you're breathing in through the nose and out through the nose. And then the hands walk forward and over to the other side. So stretching out your left side, 
from your torso. Deep breaths, slow breaths. Creating space on this side of the trunk. And moving back to center. So here you can inhale into upward cat. I'm going to move back into downward dog again. Exhale back, downward dog. So this time have a go at holding downward dog in its full expression, having a little look at your feet. So the heels are going back as towards the mat as much as is comfortable. The outside edge of the feet are in line with the mat and nice wide toes. And then you can begin to walk your feet towards the hands nice and slowly, coming up on to fingers if you need to, bending the knees, and then coming forward, really hanging here for a moment in Uttanasana, the forward fold. So you're tucking in your tummy, You can just ragdoll, so really keep yourself loose. Backs of the knees are loose. The arms and shoulders are loose. Lifting up through the arches of the feet, so nice strong legs. Loose knees. Then you can take your hands, your elbows and hang here for a moment. Then when you're ready, release your hands and gently roll up. So you're loosening your knees and you're stacking one vertebrae at a time on top of each other. So just one at a time, imagining your body is moving up like a puppet as it's slowly being brought up from the crown of the head. Of course, your head will be last to come up. And now you're standing here in Tadas, another mountain posture. So you might be standing at the front of your mat still and facing me. I'm going to move here so that it's easy for you to see. So in mountain, your feet, the outside of your feet are in line with the mat. And so your feet might be slightly pigeon toed. And then lift up your toes and gently place one at a time onto the mat so you've got wide toes. Lift up through the arches of the feet, inside of the legs, engaging your calves and your thighs, lifting the kneecaps, softening the shoulders, tucking in your tailbone a little bit, engaging the core muscles around here, softening your face and the back of your neck, And then we'll close our eyes and we'll begin a gentle balance exercise where we're lifting up the pelvic floor. Remember for women, that's inside your vaginal canal. For men, it's perineal area, perineum. And we're slightly engaging the abdominal muscles. And that's very, the very balance is very good for strengthening these areas. So with your eyes closed, you're leaning forward slightly loosening shoulders, face, and then come over to your, move over to your left side, feeling the weight on your left leg, and then back behind you, over to the right side, so it's a bit like your, a like, a, like you're a stick that's attached or something bendy that's attached to the ground, but you can move the rest if you can move around. So forwards and then to the side and then back. So going round in a circle. And back to center. 
and twice around the other way. So finding the subtleties in between the four points. Finding the in between points a bit like you're going around as a clock. <laughs> Wonderful. Remembering the strength in your core muscles. Lovely, going as slow as you need to. And then when you're ready, bringing yourself back to centre. <sighs> Wonderful, that's great. We'll bring in another balance. You can keep your eyes closed still if you, for this one if you want. Your hands out. And then we're going to gently exhale up because we're lifting up the pelvic floor, tucking in the tummy. So we'll do that on the exhale. So we'll exhale up and inhale down. Exhale up, inhale down. Wonderful. Exhale. Tucking in your tummy, your pelvic floor. Inhale down. Coming to, all you're doing is lifting up your heels. So you're on your tiptoes. Keeping yourself nice and strong. This is wonderful for strengthening. There we are, and down. Wonderful. Great. So we'll bring in a, the one leg balance. So just really similar, so we're not doing anything too strong today. With the hands on the hips. On the, yeah, hips is best. So let's plant the left leg. Really root down the left leg. Exhale, lift up pelvic floor, abdominal muscles. Lift up the right leg. And relaxing the shoulders, relaxing the face muscles. Also on your standing leg, relaxing the toes. So making sure you're lifting through the arches of the feet, but the toes can be nice and relaxed. You can lift them up and relax them down. And your drishti, your eye gaze, is straight ahead or on the, car, or on the floor below. And then placing down the leg. Then the other side. Breath in, plant the right leg. Find your drishti on the floor, straight ahead. Lift up pelvic floor, abdominal muscles, hands at the waist. Remember to lift up your toes, relax them down. And the standing leg. And then lifting from the arch of the feet. Fantastic. One more breath, and then lowering down. Fantastic, and you just have a little walk out. And we'll shake out the hands. Wonderful, that's great. And then widening your legs a little bit, a bit more than shoulder width probably, a little bit. Bending the knees, or softening the knees, and we're gonna swing and twist from side to side. Great. <laughs> so really letting your arms relax, your knees gently bobbing. If you're finding it's difficult on your knees, you can lift your feet. If it's just too much pressure on the knees, Reducing the movement very slowly and gently. And bring yourself to stillness. Resting here, good. Okay, so let's widen the legs. We're going to go into, come into Prasarita Parottanasana. So it's a wide leg forward fold. So this one you can actually... So I've got you to widen your, legs, widen your legs already. But you can actually use a block or blocks, or sometimes these types of blocks. So whatever you've got, and it might be books, whatever it is, you can place them down here, in between your legs, or in front, a little bit, depending on how far down you go. And place your hands on your hip creases, the outside of the feet are with the mat again. So you're kind of turning your feet in and just go as wide as you can. 
It doesn't have to be super, super wide, but however wide feels comfortable. Lifting up pelvic floor. Inhale, exhale, fold forward, levering from the waist, flat back, placing the hands on the blocks if you need to. If you don't need blocks, you can place your hands on the mat and you can bend your knees slightly. Lift up your toes, soften the toes down, lift up the arches of your feet. That means you're rolling back, rolling onto the outside of the feet a little bit. So whatever's comfortable. If you're using blocks, it might be that you're up here. So taking several breaths here. Lovely, deep, long breaths. Softening your shoulders. Soften, soften the knees if you need to. So we're making sure we don't lock out the knees. And then inhale, looking up. Bend the knees, tuck in your tummy, pelvic floor, and then exhale back up to standing. Fantastic. That's great. Okay, so we'll gently walk the legs in. I'll move those ones. And we're going to bring ourselves down onto the mat. So one leg behind the other and coming back onto the mat. That's good. And we're going to come down onto our backs. So I've got this here as a nice little support for my neck. So I'm going to bring myself down onto the mat with the knees facing up. And so this is a, this exercise we're going to do, which is the pelvic tilts, which is, which is a great one for strengthening the pelvic floor and the abdominal muscles, strengthening them. Um, we, I'm going to show you with a block in between your knees. So you don't need that, but it's just what it does is it helps keep your, your knees hip width apart. And so it also kind of adds a bit of strengthening in the legs and keeps the integrity to the posture. So placing the hands, palms down by your side. The breathing that we're going to do is exhaling the coccyx and the sacrum up like this, and then inhaling down. And you can exhale through your mouth if you wish. So take a breath in to, rep to prepare. Lift up your pelvic floor as you exhale and abdominal muscles and all you're doing is lifting up the hips slightly so it's just your coccyx sacrum area just coming off the mat so you won't even your your um lumbar spine so all the lower spine is still on the mat and being pressed into the mat on the exhale so it's like the navel is going back towards your spine the belly button back towards the spine inhale down Exhale up, making sure your toes are nice and loose. Lift them up and soften them down. Inhale down. Soften your shoulders. Exhale up, pelvic floor, all the muscles around for women, for around your vaginal canal. Inhale down. Exhale up. Really engaging these core muscles here. So you can feel, oh yeah, something's going on. Slightly engaging. It's the inner core muscles that you're working here. Inhale down. And as you inhale down, you're relaxing. You can just relax them. Exhale up. Inhale down. Wonderful. So we'll just stick... To that for that today rather than going up into bridge or anything we're just going to stick to a few pelvic tilts wonderful for strengthening the really deep inner core muscles that's fantastic okay so i'll place my block back and we're going to draw the knees into the chest and have a little rock from side to side wonderful Now it's time for Shavasana. So 
lengthening your legs and you can keep the blanket underneath or cushion underneath your head if you wish. You can place an eye mask on, a blanket over you, anything you need. Just take a short Shavasana. And of course, you can be as long as you want to with your Shavasana, so your relaxation. And if you need to, you can have bent knees like this, or you can place a bolster or a rolled up, another yoga mat rolled up underneath your knees, or you can place rolled up blanket or anything underneath your knees. Otherwise, enjoy the full relaxation in this corpse pose. Resting out the arms by your side. The legs can just be splayed out, relaxed. Softening all the areas you've worked today, so you might be feeling in your tummy area right now, or inside your legs. Softening the shoulders, arms, chest, back of the neck, all your face muscles. Feeling a deep, gentle relaxation. Your breath can return to its natural, gentle breathing. And then when you're ready, bring your knees up, back into the chest for a knee hug, have another little rock around. And then maybe stretch out the whole body right from the fingers to the toes and turning onto your side. And then make your way back up to seated. So you could use a blanket or block or anything for seated again. Come into a quiet space. Softening shoulders and face. Take a couple of deep breaths. Relaxing here in this seated posture. Finding your alignment again. So your heart will be resting over your hips and the head resting over your heart. Let's close today by chanting the Om vibration three times together. Breathing in. Gently open your eyes and bring the hands to the heart center. Namaste. Thank you so much for sharing this practice with me. Such a pleasure to have you and yeah, it's really nice. And if you'd like to subscribe to my channel, if you haven't already, then please feel free or It'll be, it's very helpful for me and of course comment or like on this video love to hear your comments and most of all have a lovely day and pure see you again consciousness, soon flaming orb of truth and bliss remove the veil so i can see